Welcome to the party, pal. I am Commander Tom, and this is the Continuing Adventures of Valheim. Uh, Monsters Late Siege Camp from time to time. Yeah, they did that yesterday. Uh, thanks for the update. <laughs> we have already successfully built a shelter, so today's focus is going to be hunting. And uh, specifically boar hunting, but quite frankly I'll take a shot at anything I can find because I am trying to get myself upgraded to at least a bow today. And if I can find it, if I can find a water source, I would like to see if I can uh, get the flint to uh, upgrade my axe from stone to flint. So that's kind of the two things that we're looking for here, as, we're as, as well as, you know, the general find and grind supplies. Hey! <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot to draw it. Dang it, I'm pushing the button. Well, at least I got him, but it's like... I love it. N now, now I draw my axe. I think we had a little bit of a lag or delay or something there. Oh well. I do appreciate the whole sneak. This is one of the first games I've encountered that sneaking is actually a very important part of at least your early hunting. So... I know you technically don't need to sneak up on a boar, Nine times out of ten, they attack you. Now that the camera's running, this guy wants to run away from me. <laughs> you punk. Wow, he's really a scaredy cat. Come on. There we are. Oh, come on. There we are. See? It's a lot easier when you come to run straight for me for your destruction, you know? All right. And, uh, especially with these fallen trees, uh, we're going to do this environmentally friendly. If I can, I'm going to try and get as much wood as I can from trees that are already fallen. I do like the territory. I do love the look of the forest. I'm going to try to not, uh, well, let's be honest. I'm going to try to delay deforestation. <laughs> and looks like we got some raspberry bushes around, so we'll go ahead and grab some of that. I really do appreciate the artwork in here. And I see a coast. So we may have some uh, flint in our future too. Uh, what do you want now? You know what? The heck with you. I want to go ahead and explore this a little bit here. Let me get poke my nose around see what we have here. <laughs> the outhouse. <laughs> of course, there is an outhouse. <laughs> What are you going to say about this? Uh, I suffered a mortal blow. Uh, oh, good gosh. You're telling me I took a hit? Big fool! Whoopity doo! It's a game, of course I'm going to take a hit. Good gosh, you took a hit. No duh. Alright. Let's go ahead. This looks like it could be a good potential here. And I'm right. Alright, let me grab some flint here. Okay. Nicely, nicely. Hop around a little bit. Okay, tails. They're called tails? To me, these things look like some sort of giant lizard or giant frog or something. Come on, just die! It's not, yeah, I was going to say, these things aren't like... I'm just missing them, is what I'm doing. I am missing when I'm swinging and hitting Okay. Yeah, it looks like this will probably be... If I play my cards right, I'll have enough flint for my axe, as well as the uh, upgrade. Because this looks like it might be a pretty good run supply here, especially if it goes all the way to the coast here, so... And we're going to stock up on tails. It's okay. I don't mind stocking the uh, pantry. Come on. Dang thing. There we are. <laughs> Alrighty. We got any more? Alright. Let me do the grind. Uh, you skip the time. I'll be back at the end a bit. Okay, so we've walked the creek out to the actual river, and yes, there is uh, turning out to be plenty of flint. So that's uh, looking to be pretty successful right here. I mean, heck, right in this one shot, you're seeing where I'm picking up about five or six pieces. 
And I only need like five pieces for the axe, and I can't remember if I need five or ten for the chopping block upgrade to the workbench. So that's going to work out real well for me here. So we're going to continue on with this system that seems to be doing so well of walking the coastline for me and do a little beach coming today. See what we have here. And you know me, if I find anything tasty, I'm going to whack it on the head with my hammer. So, speaking of which, tasty, tasty venison. <laughs> Whoa, he's just... <laughs> It looked like he was just sitting there bound so perfectly. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Um, so, uh, I know that the, with this being a relatively brand new game, some people were asking, are you dripping milk? Uh, no, this game has a, like, wetness meter to it. And I know it has a cold meter. And though I haven't experienced it, because it... At night, I'm smart enough to go inside and sit by the fire. I'm assuming that the combination of wet and cold will result in a health drain, but... No, what you're seeing is the graphical icon of, I'm wet, I've gone through the water, so I'm dripping and soaking. So, I'm not leaking milk, I'm just dripping water. Take a look here. Okay. When I have a bow, I'll start hunting, uh those birds over there. Right now I see a boar, so I'm gonna go boring. Whack him up! <laughs> I do appreciate this. I do appreciate this. Oh, this is fun. Um, take a look around here. <laughs> wow. Is it me or did you just see that herd spawn in also? This is like, here! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, uh, okay. Well, if the game's gonna provide them, sure. I'll go ahead and whack them all! Whack them all! Whack them all! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, one more. One more. Whack them all! <laughs> there we are. Oh, okay. I think we're slowly gonna start getting some of this stuff up to base. And, of course, I'm going to grab a little bit of supplies that are literally right in front of me. You know how it goes. Okay, we've got a decent supply run here. I'm curious how much I can make with what I've gotten. So, <laughs> let's go ahead, hop on in, and uh, get a little bit of construction going on here. Alright. Take a look here. We can make the flint axe. Good, we'll go ahead and make that now. Perfect. Okay, what else can we make? We'll go ahead and get that switched out. Yeah, I'm gonna, probably going to wind up dropping some... Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, I don't need that, and I don't need the stone axe anymore, so we'll go ahead and drop those two. This is my respawn box. Okay, so if you're curious about why I've got the two or what the sorting system is, the box by my bed directly is almost universally in each game my respawn box. This corner over here is becoming my closet, my storage system. In fact, I think I might give you a little bit of a separate video on just some tips and tricks on how to make a nice, compact, yet effective uh, storage corner. So what we'll do here is uh, take out that middle wall. Then we're going to use half walls. Half walls to clip. The, there we are. And what that does then is give us a clip point that you can then use some of those uh, one by one floors to create a shelf. Like that. And then you can easily stack your uh, storage on top of those to give you additional room for everything. So you can have those stack up pretty high if that's something you're interested in. Right now I've just got, I've done a pretty decent job of resource gathering, so I'm trying to get things slightly organized. Usually uh, kind of trophies in one, general stuff, uh, construction materials in another, and this is just early game stuff. Once I get to a point where I've got tons of stuff, then it's going to be like one type of item per chest, you know, the same as you would with any sort of uh, grind game is you've got to work through it uh, 
and build your supplies up. Give me a second to do the inventory, I'll be back with you. Alright, let's see what else we can build with the supplies that we've gathered from today's activities here. Okay, I can make a bow. There we are. The game just opened up a lot more now. Make sure we get some arrows to go with this. <laughs> make another batch of arrows. I see advantages of pointy stick. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Um, let me check one other variable here. In fact, let me go ahead. I've got a lot of meat. Let's get this cooked up, and that way, you know, we start getting our meat supplies up. Because we only got four, three... Yeah. Get the stomach fed here. I haven't been killing everything just to starve. So, uh, one thing I found is that this game appreciates variety of your diet. It gives you bonus, um... You know, hit points, uh, I suppose technically you don't necessarily need to eat, but then you are a paper doll, you're a one-hit kill. If you want to be able to do any sort of work, if you want to uh, be able to withstand any sort of hit, you're going to want to have a varied diet, usually about three to four types of food, so it's not just going to be the red meat. And that's one thing I'm surprised about as well, that in a game in which rewards variety of food uh, boars and deer still drop the same red meat but in the attempt to increase my comfort of this house too we'll go ahead and take some of the skins and we'll go ahead and put a deer skin down which should yes if you take a look at my bar up top right you'll see I'm uh, uh, just put my shelter up to comfort level 5 now so that's a pretty good uh, increase right there and before the sun goes down too much, I want to see if I can land anything more with my magical bow. Okay, well, I suppose it's not magical, but, you know, I want to go hunting. Come on. Oh, my aim's a little off. That's okay. Okay, well, I'm definitely ticking off a herd here. Got to get my aim down. Adjust for drop in the game. <laughs> Get this close, I'm still gonna whack you with my new flint hammer. Come on. Ooh. Okay. Alright, I'm still not giving up on hunting here. Give me a minute, uh, just kinda. Okay, hey, dude. <laughs> Grayling. There you are. Resin, good. Fuel for the torches. What else do we have out here to offer? I'm aware the sun is going down, but I'm relatively close to base. My health points are high. Okay. Still want to try and land something with the bow here. You've, bit, you've watched me this far. I want to reward your patience. Let me do just a little bit of hunting. Let me be wary, wary, quiet. Here, that'll do nicely. You cost me a... <laughs> Alright, let's whack these things. I feel cold. Yeah, it's night out boars attacking me. I guess I won't complain too much. I mean, I'm getting red meat stocked up, but I wanted to do a little hunting. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Oh, I think the deer got away. Sometimes you get the deer, and sometimes deer gets you, but on the upside... I'm not dead, so I guess I'm not going to complain too much. And good morning. Obviously, I, I took a break, uh, took a nap, slept through the night, figured it'd be smart, and most importantly, uh, better graphics for you if I waited till morning when the sun was out to actually try to uh, land our uh, first deer with an arrow here. So, 
taking a look here along the plains, trying to uh, keep an eye on the tree line, you know, increase my uh, maximum field of vision to actually see these things, to do the classical hunting. Uh, let me go ahead and see what's going to be provided. Okay. Thought I okay, what do we got here? Did I drop something? Uh, I think that was from a previous kill that I just didn't pick up before. I do appreciate those kind of like sparkle fountains that come upwards. It's like, hey, pick me up! It's actually a nice little feature. And I like little nice features where the game actually tries to help you sometimes. It's nice when that happens. Usually games just want to kill you. And I see you. I see you, little dear. <laughs> there we are. Now I feel good. For oh, and we got a Grayling right here. Oh, and you dodge? You punk! Dodge this! <laughs> uh, oh well. I always need resin for torches and for flame arrows, so I'm not going to be too upset about that. Yay! Alright, where's the kill? There it is. Oh, that feels good. A couple bits of hide, a couple bits of meat. We'll call that a good day then. Yeah. Okay, well, I can tell what today is going to be. It's going to be another hunting day. It's just going to be me playing with my arrow this time. <laughs> uh, not a bad thing, but I know that that might not be the most entertaining thing, because I'm just going to be doing forest hunting. I'm not going to go after a boss or anything. I want to build up to that. Uh, so if you've uh, watched this far, I do thank you for that. If you want to see more, that's what playlists are for. And if you want to know if I live to see tomorrow, like and subscribe. I'm Commander Tom. I'll see you next time. Thanks.